The formula is a secret, handed down the generations. In the heat of a furnace, alchemy is unleashed. Crystal is a work of art, alive yet eternal. In the cool forests of the northern Vosges, passing through stands of bristling beech and fir, you come upon the quiet village of vingen sur madère It is here that René Lalique, a visionary artist who loved glass as a medium, settled down. In Alsace, he had an intuition that glass would be the next big thing. In 1922, in the glassworks he named the Vellerie d'Alsace, a spark was lit. The first furnace was fired. Some 50 workers were present, glassmakers, cutters, engravers. From generation to generation, the passion spread like a fire. The skills of these men and women are the soul of Lalique, whose workforce includes seven meilleurs ouvriers de France, best craftsmen in France. Glowing like honey, the material is molded, blown, and pressed into something precious. The factory preserves a rich heritage of cast iron molds, which is still growing today thanks to the talent of the master molders. This unique know-how is also to be found among the glassworks potters. After the Second World War, manufacturing gained new momentum. Marc Lalique, who succeeded his father in 1945, struck out on a new course. Glass gave way to crystal. Marie-Claude Lalique took the reins of the house in 1977. Remaining true to the spirit of her grandfather, René Lalique, she revived the creation of jewelry, his original area of expertise, and developed a range of unique fragrances. Today, the flame of creativity still burns in Vingen sur Moder. In 2010, thanks to the dynamism of Silvio Dens, a tank furnace came on stream. In 2022, a hundred years after the inauguration of the factory, a new one will be fired up, enabling the skilled workforce to perpetuate the brand's creative momentum. A jewel in the crown of French heritage, Lalique has established its own distinctive style. Decorative objects, interior design, fragrances, jewelry, art, and hospitality. Lalique is synonymous with the art of living.